as you can see right now, I'm getting to typical uh, energy fighter altitude, which for tier 5 is really around like 5,000 to 6,000 meters. <clears throat> yeah, 4 to, four to 5,000 meters. Now, in like tier 6, tier 6 and 7, uh, typical energy fighting cruising altitude would be 6 to 7,000 meters. Energy fighting is a form of dogfighting in which the principle is to obtain and or maintain a speed and or altitude advantage over the opponent to secure a kill. So, as you can see right now, I'm at like, I'm actually a little high right now. I'm gonna lower down a little bit. A little lower. But as you can see, I'm just up here waiting patiently for someone to for someone to spot me and start climbing up, and I think these two, this P80 and the P80, I think they're climbing up today. They're not. Okay. You know, this is basically how half the match is going to turn out to be in an energy fighting match. But that's just how it is. It's kind of like, uh, oh, hold on. No, we don't. Alright. But it's kind of like a, like a little game of fishing. That's what me and Pi really uh, said to each other before. Like a game of uh, wings, wings and glory fishing simulator. That's that's what this is basically. Wait for someone to climb up to you, and once they do, you start you start climbing up, and uh, hopefully you don't die. And that's basically energy fighting. And as you're about to stall, what you want to do is you want to dive back down to them and try getting some shots off. Them to kill him. And that's why the comet is such a good energy fighter, because it has amazing TWR for amazing thrust away ratio for its tier, it's fast, and it has two 30mm cannons which hit like a truck at close range. Let's see. Shooting star. Nobody notices me right now. These guys are getting a little higher though. Now the reason you go so high in jet matches is because you're facing against jets. Now, oh, look at this, Panther. Does he notice me? No, of course not. Oh, oh, there we go. Never mind. Alright, I am over four people right now. It's fine. Alright, Panther's going after me right now. Uh, no, he's not. Alright, he's stalling right now. Alright, I think I can go after him. Oh, they're all stalling. Alright, let me go after this Panther. Try and get some shots on him. Alright, he's dead. And then there's a big knife. So, after you kill someone, it's not recommended to turn. It's really recommended to just stall out everyone else trying to chase you. Which is what I'm doing right now. And look at that. They are stalling. And I am about to kill them. Which is... Let's see. Can I... Is my aim gonna work out? No, of course not. Oh god! Ooh! Of course not. Of course this happens. Um... Alright, Panther bled a lot of energy to him. Which is... Uh, good for me. Because I can just circle above him. So he decides to... Alright, so, you know, right now, it looks like Pi is climbing, and this is really because he needs to get that energy advantage. And what he's trying to do, he wants to try and bait me, right? He wants to try and bait me to get up and climb up towards him. 
Now, this is what would happen if I do climb up towards him. You can see he's gonna start climbing up, right? And he's not doing that right now. There he is, there he goes. He's gonna start climbing up, right? In, a, in an attempt to uh, stall me out. Now I'm gonna try and get some shots off. And the thing about the common is how it has no armor at all. But this would be a successful energy trap right here. You can see how he stalled me out and he's gonna eventually shoot me now, just like that. What you want to do in the energy fighter is you want to stay up, you see them die, if you stay up, you just maintain your energy, you wait until you're behind them, they're gonna dive, because that's what they should be doing, trying to get you to compress, which will happen, but that's why you reduce your throttle, but if you reduce your throttle, you're going too slow out of the dive and you get hit, so what you have to do is you have to maintain your throttle, get that quick shot, and then go back up. And the turn fighter, what you want to do is you want to dive, but not to the point where they, they're going to hit the deck. You want to leave some room between yourself and the floor so they don't pull up too early thinking they're going to crash. You want to leave it around the so they'll go beneath you. Then you can do what we've stated earlier, pull up and shoot them. Yeah, yeah, and I'm going to try and get that example of a Pi is... Yeah, just clip really, Pi, please. Pi just really likes loitering at like 3,000 meters. All right, there we go. So as you can see, Pi realized that I'm not climbing back up to him, so... I'm gonna dive down out of his guns, right? Climb back up and turn in this turn circle because the zero is just a broken plane. I'm gonna get some shots off from him, but not really because he's a uh, fuck wolf and very strong. Now he's gonna do the exact same thing over and over again, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing over and over again. I'm gonna dive, get back down to altitude, uh, get back down to a recommended altitude, and now he's gonna dive back down towards me. I'm, now that I have energy, I'm gonna climb up towards him. Now he can't hit me, because I'm out of his guns. But as soon as he gets right here, ah, I missed again, but... <laughs> now he's gonna just keep on trying to climb up, right? I'm gonna dive down, keep on gaining energy, and he's realizing that I'm not falling for his traps, right? So, he's gonna keep on trying to hit me, trying to hit me and what I can do I can just keep on reversing him because he's going way faster than me and get some good shots on him this is a pretty uh this is a pretty unique scenario right here there is me and uh, this F2 saber which is not a turn fighter in the slightest. A turn fighter in America, that would be the A5 saber. That's a lot better. Now, what's good about the MiG-15 is how it has 23mm and also 37mm, which it's a one hit if you hit him, which is great. All right, so now we are fighting. There's this guy. I pop my air brakes to get behind him and get to my optimal speed, which is speed, which is around 600 miles per hour, 600 kilometers per hour, and just got a, now that I'm behind him, I just gotta make sure my aim works out, which it's not, because it never does. Wow. Wow. if you win a 1v1 in a 1v1 server like this they're either gonna quit and uh, you're just gonna be the only one there or they're gonna keep on trying to kill you which is I think what he's trying to do right now oh oh it's a 2v1 server now this is pretty interesting it really depends on what kind of plane the other guy has now he has a uh, it's a 2v2 server now this is good it's good for me now also depends on what kind of thing he has. Alright, he's... Oh, damn. Okay. He's doing the same thing as the last time, getting behind him. Uh, this time my aim is working though, so... It's all good. 
But yeah, when you try, when you want to try and get behind someone, best bet is to pop out your air brakes, lower your throttle, and uh, use your superior turn rate and uh, superior energy uh, to get behind them. And also make sure you dodge their guns, or else you're going to not have a good time. So, the MiG-9 has the exact same guns as the MiG-15, but it's slower, it's less maneuverable, and it's dead. Alright, so F2 Saber. The best way to counter a Saber is what I've been doing, basically use, basically get slower than it, and use uh, your superior, your superior maneuverability, and your superior guns to just shoot them down. But this time I'm just being smart and running away. So now I'm left with this big nine, which is pretty easy to counter. Just get slow, get slower, and uh, use your superior maneuverability yet again to get behind it, just like this. Maybe my aim works this time. Yes, it does. Oh god, there's a panther. Panther has 20 mils. They are very scary. I use my air brakes because I'm in front of him right now. But the panther is... Wait, what is that? That's a panther! Why is there a panther? Okay, well... Um... That's a panther. It's... Um... Uh, it's an American naval plane, tier 5. Uh, I'm a lot more maneuverable in it. Uh, the MiG-15 is the best turning plane in the entire game. He launched a missile. This is fine. Alright, this is a 2v1 now. He's ignoring me, but he is not ignoring me, so I'm gonna go after him. Hopefully get some shots off. Yes! Alright, let's see. Alright, there's another guy on me, it's the MiG-9. Again, with the MiG-9, it's not as memorable, but... Yeah, no, it's, it's just inferior to the MiG-15 in every way. It has the exact same guns, though. Not work. There's make it that's that's not good. Actually this is good. This is good. The cougar ignored me. He's going after someone else now. I can just get fight this big nine and have a lot less pressure on on me right now. Okay. Alright, now there's a demon. Shot. Miss because miss again because my game sucks. Alright, make nine right there. Demon right here. Alright, he killed me finally. Alright, so he's running away from me because he does not want to turn fight me, which is he's being smart right now. I, I respect that. He is being smart right now. Oh, oh that's what he's doing. Alright, so what he's doing right now, he's gonna try and leave me to his airfield and get me killed by his airfield AA. And in tier spot in tier six and seven, airfield AA is misses. Uh pretty hard to dodge too. So I'm not gonna fall for that and I'm gonna go the other way. So I mean I don't blame him. It is it was me and this guy versus this guy, which is not ideal for him because he's a demon. Alright, now he's going after me. He's probably going to launch a missile, so... I'm going to wait for him to launch that missile, and then I'm going to... Actually, I'll just... No... Let's see... Alright, what's that? Alright, there's two demons. Alright, now he's in missile range, so I'm going to turn back towards him. I'm going to die. Air break. Get out of his guns, just like that. And, uh, go oh, now we're in a vertical scissor. Now we're in a regular scissor. I got him. So, you know, rudder is your best friend. If you know how to use rudder effectively, uh, you can get behind him a lot easier. Alright, there's another demon. I'm gonna use my rudder. Pop over to him. Uh, he doesn't see me. Yes, he does. Oh, and that just goes to show how strong demon guns are. 
the F40 Sabre has... When it's aced, this is, I have a, I have a spaded right now, I have an ace. But there's, uh, 1800 rounds of 12 sevenths. Uh, really, really fast shooting. Uh, pretty decent velocity also. A5 Sabre. Now, when you're fighting in the F40 Sabre, this is probably your best situation. Fighting someone that's not as maneuverable as you, and, oh, it's too long. That's not fun. I could probably get behind this guy. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, missile. So now there's just him. I'm gonna use my rudder to get sorta of closer to him. I'm at 75% bottle now. And I'm really low on energy. If I'm low on energy, then he's low on energy. So he's gonna start falling. I'm gonna look raise my throttle and the this is a really, really long scissors. Alright, he's he's diving, he's diving, which is good for me, so I can... Whoa! Alright, this is not the best situation right now. Alright, I'm gonna try and get into a one circle now. And uh, by doing this, I can use my better maneuverability to get behind him. And I have missiles, so if my aim just forgets to work, I can always just do this. Dead. All right, <clears throat> that that should about wrap everything up for for turn fighting. Now keep in mind, right? This is a very like vague representation, a very vague guide to everything. If you wanna like excel at these things, energy fighting and turn fighting, you're gonna have to put your own spin on it because you know once you do that, you'll pretty much be all set. Because once you read a book, and if you go after it word for word, you're not gonna really, you're, you're gonna be really predictable, and it's also just not gonna feel right. So when you put your own spin on everything, it's like it just makes it just makes doing all this so much funner. Well, with all that said, thanks for watching. This is a newer video, so it's not going to be the best quality. <laughs> I hope it's good. I hope it's good enough, but with all that said, uh, this is Wings of Glory Guides. Uh, thanks for watching.